Yo, this week is pretty low-key when it comes to drops, but there are definitely some things you need to pay attention to. I am Jacques Slade, and this is The Heat Check. First up, we have something that is completely brand new, the Reebok Liquid Speed. The shoe literally just launched today and was created by the Reebok Future team, and it uses state-of-the-art software and machinery to draw shoes in three dimension. The Liquid Speed is a prototype, and it's actually available today over at Finish Line for $190. They're limited to only 300 pairs. Next up, we see that Nike is showing the running crowd some love with the Pegasus, the Free Run, and the Lunar Glide 8. The uppers of all three have been updated with designs by Rostar, who is an artist out of NYC that also happens to really like running. These are available for both men and women, and you can grab those at finish line as well. On the retro side of things, Nike is looking back to the 90s with the release of the Nike Air Unlimited. As you can see, the look of this shoe isn't typical of even the older 90s sneakers and explores a time when Nike was being a bit looser with the design rules, which resulted in some cool looks in my opinion. These will cost you 180. Now, if you're a fan of the phone posits, the Nike Air Phone Posit 1 Night Maroon dropped this morning as well. I've had a lot of people call these peanut butter and jelly as a nod to the maroon upper and the gum outsole, which I don't mind at all. As most of you know, Nike Sportswear has chilled just a bit on the foams and it's nice to see them drop a dope colorway. Those are going to cost you $230. Jumping ahead to Saturday, Jordan Brand. See what I did there? Jumping. Jordan. Anyway, all right. I know you get it. Basically, Jordan Brand is taking over. The exclusive Air Jordan 23 in turquoise is dropping, and it takes its colorway inspiration from the Florida Marlins. Jordan has been dropping a few 23s this year, and I wonder if they're going to release even more in the upcoming years. Those will be 275 the last two pairs for this weekend are a bit shinier than usual, the Air Jordan 1 and the Air Jordan 6. The Air Jordan 1 is from the No Swoosh line of Jordan 1s and rocks with a metallic silver upper. This is a pinnacle version and it will cost you $160. If you prefer your Jordans from the championship variety, the Air Jordan 6 pinnacle will be dropping Saturday as well. This pair switches a normally leather upper with metallic gold inspired by that championship trophy and will cost you $250 when you pick those up on Saturday as well. Not a ton to choose from this weekend, but definitely worth taking a look. Be sure to check below for links to all of the shoes that I talked about in the video today. And be sure to hit that like button and share the news. I am Jacques Slade. This is the Heat Check presented by Finish Line. And as always, guys, I appreciate you. I'll see you soon. Peace. When you have someone like Jordan at the top of your brand, it's easy to rely on the past. But is the Jordan 31 a play for the future? Let's start with the obvious, the Nike swoosh. The last of this shoe, which is the KD9. Yes, you guys have seen it before, but this time you get the perspective of the designer of the shoe, which take things up 